Hey, good morning, friends. I'm Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa here with the M Live Morning Weather Update, and we are in the ring of fire. So here's your hot dome right here, and then the storms roll around the outer edge of that hot dome, come up into Canada, and then down into our area. And in fact, we have our first clump of ring of fire thunderstorms at the moment. I'm watching this severe thunderstorm rolling through Genesee County into Lapeer County. This is the uh, velocity mode, the wind mode. And what you're seeing is a burst of damaging winds. Uh, almost looks like a rotation of a tornado trying to develop, but uh, Columbiaville uh, heading toward Lapeer. Look at all these lightning strikes. Um, Columbiaville, Otisville heading toward Davison, Elba, Lapeer. I-69, it's tracking toward the southeast. Let me show you what the actual radar looks like. And so there you can see it. So the severe thunderstorm warning is for a sliver of the eastern part of Genesee County and then almost all of Lapeer County with this storm that's coming out of um, Otter Lake and North Branch and heading southward. So get ready for perhaps a severe wind gust. And that's what these ring of fire thunderstorms can do because there's so much energy right here that feeds on it. So here's current radar. This batch will be moving through over the next couple of hours and then dissipating, and then the next batch will develop. And I'll be honest, the modeling, not, you know, not super exact. It gives us a feel for what's going on, but don't look at it as, and sometimes it gives us the exact timing of storms. So here's here's our forecast. Uh, let me grab the updated one for you here. Here's that high resolution rapid refresh. And you can see that its forecast for nine o'clock isn't great compared to what's going on. 10, 11, noon, one. So the feeling is that these things will dissipate in the late morning. And now it shows now the next batch, uh, five o'clock this evening, six, seven, eight. And that's a classic cyclical pattern of ring of fire. E af late afternoon, evening round of thunderstorms, and also a middle of the night round that develops and moves to the south. Southeast. And since we're in that pattern, we can have it continue. Now, this is another model. And again, not particularly accurate. This model ran six hours ago. We don't have the new one yet. But this is what it said that it should look like at nine this morning. And not really, you know, kind of close, but not really. But it also shows those moving out. And then as we go into overnight tonight, it develops another uh, round of storms. And then on to the southeast. And then Thursday afternoon and evening, it develops another round of storms. And who knows if it's exactly here, or if it's back here or what. But the point is that every one of these rounds of storms, so look at this, this is by Thursday afternoon, very active. Okay, every round of storms can have some uh, scattered severe weather with it. Here's the European showing, again, the batch of storms tonight, the batch of storms tomorrow afternoon and evening. So the eastern half of the state looks like it's more in line for it than the western half. And then this is Friday night and Saturday. And originally we had thought that by midday Saturday, things will clear out. And it looks like that's the case, but now this model wants to find another disturbance and bring it already toward us by Tuesday. Uh, and that's hard to say, but you know, a lot of times these kind of stagnant late summer patterns just continue until we get a really big change. Hey, good morning, everybody. So I'm live chief meteorologist, Mark Torregrossa, covering the weather. We have the ring of storms. Watch for the possibility of severe weather as these storms move through. Um, now, temperatures, look at this. You know, where it's stormy, cloudy, it's cooler. And in the southwest corner, it is going to be steamy and hot. 
And tomorrow will be a hot day for a lot of places. Temperatures in the 90s, feeling like 100 to 107 when the humidity is factored in there. And you got to factor in the sunshine on the skin too, which is um, addressed in what we call a skin temperature. And it's usually 10 degrees hotter than the heat index too. Uh, now this is Friday in the 80s, Saturday back to the 70s, Sunday 70s, Monday 70s, Tuesday 70s, 60s in the north, Wednesday 70s, Thursday 70s, Friday 70s. So starting to kind of get a hint that it's a little bit cooler pattern coming forward. And guess what? That's already September 1st there. Summer will be done soon, folks. All right, one last check. Um, weather service upgraded their way they communicate with us. And of course, it's government. So the upgrade means a downgrade. So I don't get to hear my sounds of when when tornadoes are, warnings are issued anymore. So I got to just kind of constantly watch it. Um, but here is the severe thunderstorm warning for Lapeer County, eastern part of Genesis. No, I guess it's all Lapeer County now. I'm sorry. Um, and get ready for possibly some uh, brief damaging wind gusts a little bit closer. Um, this is this is the wind burst area right here. This is a severe wind burst, maybe a rotation. Um, if it sounds noisy, I would get to your basement in this region. Let's put. What happened? The update. Let's see here. Okay, so it seems to be, seems to have peaked in intensity. Right around the pier. <coughs> Excuse me. The uh, severe gusts are perhaps moving in. The radar showing 50, 50 mile an hour gusts or so. <clears throat> Could be a little stronger than that. Move away, away from the windows as this storm system moves through. And there you have it. The ring of fire. Thunderstorms going. We'll get through them, but it could be a pretty stormy period from now through Saturday across Michigan. I'm MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. Thanks for joining me on the MLive Morning Weather Update.